We are pumped to welcome these two guys uh, to the great cricketer universe. Uh, between them, there's writing, acting, producing, stand-up work, executive leadership. Uh, but most importantly, they are the titans of the most fabulous and frightening world on planet Earth, Indian cricket on the internet. Uh, our absolute pleasure to welcome Takua and Tan. Yeah. Boys, welcome to the show. Hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, Sam, I'm stealing that intro for every other intro that I got to do after this. That was a, that was a really good one. <laughs> I'll just do that to soften you up a bit and then like, hey, hey, hey. Come with us. <laughs> boys, great to be here. I, you, you guys are my, are my favorite uh, cricketing podcast or perhaps podcast. I get, I, we were just discussing how every time India plays, I, I'm so happy for you guys because you guys have a great uh, ad revenue week. That week on, on YouTube. Uh, so ha- I'm so happy for you guys. Uh, uh, congrats on on releasing an episode longer than the India Sri Lanka match yesterday. Uh, that must have been good. I mean, it's really weird that we keep sending you those numbers as well, but we just kind of want the approval of Daddy. Yeah. Uh, so... No, but guys, honestly, uh, been a huge, huge fan. So I, you know, it, it's not seen over the screen, but. I'm super excited, like uh, an almost fanboy. So thank you, firstly, for uh, having me on. I have to uh, like start with an apology, really, uh, to Tanme specifically, because like we only like for people who are watching now, like we're literally meeting for the first time, like IRL via the screen. There's been some right. like apps and stuff. I mean, I've seen a lot, and no reply, but that's a different. <laughs> <initial. laughs> Very happy for that's, us. That's um, not true. I've always replied, man. I've always replied. But, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been a, it's been a bit of a back and forth for the last few months, I think. I have to apologize because when we first started like uh, covering Indian cricket, I don't know what happened. You guys beat us at the Gabba, and all of a sudden we got some viewers. But um, <laughs> uh, we did a live stream, and all of a sudden, like the co- like, we were drunk, and uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> the the comments like lit up with like a oh, Tan Maze entered the chat. And, uh, <laughs> I remember. I remember this. <laughs> Just, like I, I did, like it was true. I was just a white guy who didn't have a clue, and I still don't. But I just wanted to say, now that we're face to face, I apologize for that uh, disrespect and shade. But I do get reminded by a lot of people that I've regularly said, "Who the fuck?" Is you? <laughs> well, I, I did that, <laughs> hey man. I did that specifically to get your attention, all in the hopes that one day I could show up in the pod. I knew that the Indian viewership was super useful to you guys. What? <laughs> I, it was. It would be weird for me to say, hey, you should get me on the pod. It'll get you a bunch of views. So I just said, hey, and next thing I know, I'm here. <laughs> we spent years trying to get that New Zealand market. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a waste. Uh, what a waste. New Zealand cricket. Wait, should we talk um, about the World Cup that's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so first and foremost, this is uh, the day uh, The day after uh, Siraj has just taken six for whatever, 21 or in 10 balls or some shit. Uh, what's what's the mood? Is it just parties in the street? Is it now India the favourites? Are we are we face painting? Is Dhoni coming back? What's like what's, what's the mood? Dude, I think uh, the the start of the World Cup here that to in India means everything else that you do is kept aside. So like any work we're speaking with right now, the first thing everybody's checking is okay when is when is India playing? What time is what happening? So all your other work just gets sort of circled around around the World Cup. And that includes even your personal life and dates. Like last night, I had an argument with my wife because she's like, you're going for your tour. We need to spend Sunday together. I said, no, I got to watch the match. It's the final and this and that. And in our argument, by the time I put the TV on, they were already all out. (laughs) So thank thank you, Siraj. (laughs) So it it didn't become a bigger fight. And I got to chill with my wife and watch the game. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd made plans with my friends to watch the game yesterday. And everybody was like 45 minutes late. And then like an hour later, they're texting saying, should we even come now? Like, <laughs> shubman has got to get 50. It's going to be over in five minutes. Uh, generally, the mood is great. I thought the game they fielded, uh, the team they fielded against Pakistan, I felt really good about that team. Um, which means like, you know, Tough luck, Shreyas. Uh, I yeah. guess our <laughs> memories, our memories are so short now. All you really need is an interesting story with one cricketer and one innings can change your life. Um, yeah. And the whole like I'm in Bangalore and the National Cricket Academy is here, mm. and the the feeling of all right, it's gonna be cricket season because a few weeks ago the whole team was here in like one hotel. 
they were here for the camp which meant the whole industry was in this hotel every top sports management firm 55 different brands are trying to squeeze in their last shoots before they lose all the cricketers for the next two months and now all the, like I, i do I write a bunch of ads so i get a bunch of their briefs and everyone's always like we have this one 45 minute window on this one date between the australia series and the world cup can you write something for this so it's like we're saying goodbye to them for the next couple of months because they're going to be unreachable and it's going to be a it's going to be quite the world cup i mean yeah. lord help us if we don't reach the top 4 at the very least um cuz you know people are buying tickets for the semis and stuff for like you know upwards of 10000 usd it's it's insane i don't yeah. know if you guys read the story but the mm. india pakistan game in ahmedabad like hotel beds are booked up cuz people can't find hotel rooms so hospital beds have been booked up like people are yeah. booking beds in the hospitals in. so they can find a night to stay at in amdabad true true story true story so if you're in amdabad on the 14th of october make sure you don't fall sick make sure you don't meet with an accident make sure you're not pregnant because nobody <laughs> is taking care of you at that point all the hospital beds are booked for cricket fans so yeah. it's quite it's quite insane so yeah uh so yeah 1% of our female viewers if you're pregnant <laughs> uh, uh it's yeah. fun- like it, it like last week in Australia, about a week ago in Australia absolute world cup fever here no coverage in the last week or so i'm not not really sure why uh, <laughs> it's kind of like the reverse in india i mean it must be fever pitch now like you guys have destroyed yeah. everybody basically the asian champions i don't know if that means anything uh yeah. and like well, i mean like tell me is it kind of is india going to win the world cup because like it's at home modi stadium modi will be there in m yeah. is there like you guys have a one and icc tournament for ages so if there's fear you know like what's going to win political will or fear <laughs> oh man <laughs> i i feel like <laughs> hey uh varun do you want to do you want to take take that <laughs> sorry what i just got a, what? i just i just got to head to the kitchen can, can you take that one? i'll join you in your kitchen <laughs> i'm just take a flight to bangalore <laughs> but okay my question is like this world cup is significant for a bunch of reasons uh one is it's the world cup at home the second is a bunch of our cricketers are aging right so it's almost like if we win that's kind of bad news for a bunch of people yeah <laughs> if we lose that's bad news for everyone um so yeah everyone's excited uh, except for venkatesh prasad venkatesh prasad is not <laughs> happy he's not the most excited person <laughs> clearly oh, so bad no. yeah cuz you're like on the you know I've I've watched both of your guys work you know and like you both big on nostalgia you know the 90 90s indian cricket thing oh yes it yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. ton made the, the cred ads you re- reference the ogs you know like yeah. what what's your favorite version of venkatesh prasad like destroying pakistan in the 90s or uh, destroying the bcci on twitter um, <laughs> <laughs> you know my no. my go for it it's all i think i think with with venkatesh prasad no matter what happens the fact that he he had that little thing with amir sohail during the 96 world cup you know that sort of triumphs everything else he'll ever do <laughs> right like tomorrow venkatesh prasad himself lands a uh, lander on the moon they'll be like venkatesh prasad the guy who took amir sohail's wicket <laughs> you know and had that celebration that trumps everything so yeah i think i always like to remember venkatesh prasad from that so yeah. even now when i see the tweets i'm like oh you remember that guy who used to give yeah. out yeah. after taking the wicket himself he didn't wait for the umpire decision he would give out one <laughs> and it goes the other way too varun if venkatesh yeah. prasad does something amazing everyone's always like this dude that moment that match that year fuck yeah and then if he says something that people don't like it's like hey just that one moment one that moment. day that match shut the fuck up like it's it can flip it can flip the next second like That's when he true. made a bunch of these tweets i was seeing comments and the same people who were like amir sohail that wicket and now like hey you just took amir sohail's wicket okay just relax <laughs> like don't need to get carried away so it's a double edged sword hey um how are, how are people how, how are most people going to like enjoy and share in the experience of the world cup boys because like Um obviously some of the tickets are just outrageously priced like there's some tickets going for like $100,000 USD like mm-hmm. Pezanak could only get three tickets for that game so like it's you know things <laughs> be tough. <laughs> also like ODIs they go for 8 hours so like you can't just stay in someone's house for that long cuz it's just really rude just eating their chips for yeah. like so how do, <laughs> like how do you watch the games are people congregating together is it bars like what's 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 happening? Um it's a, it's a it's a combination there's a lot of bars that 
you know, we'll show the game on the big screen. So everybody shows up there. Um, a lot of people do it at their own house as well. So a bunch of friends get, get together at somebody's house, but you will not, and you know, those are the only times where at least you'll see the streets of Mumbai, which is usually super crowded, empty, yeah. right? Yeah. So, like, you know, I, we would normally take about an hour to complete a distance of just 10 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Right. And on the day of an India World Cup match happening in India, those streets are going to be empty. Yeah. So, and this time, especially so, because after this World Cup, we're saying goodbye to the format, right? Like, at least that's the memo we got <laughs> that this is the last time we'll be watching an international because we don't have time for that shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was I was convinced after yesterday's India Sri Lanka game that, you know, uh, BCCI was going to be like, just do two T20s right now. <laughs> yeah, <back>. right. <laughs> We got too much advertiser money bagging this. <laughs> I thought it was actually going to be, I thought it'd be yeah. Rajasthan against MI yeah, so, or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was going to say, like, so what needs to happen to safely retire this format of ODI mm. cricket? Like, if it, is it if India wins, it means that India's completed the format so we can all push it aside? <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. or is it if India doesn't win it, we must continue to play until it's completed? <laughs> yeah. And, I, I think I think you hit the nail on the head. If India wins, uh, hey, goodbye ODI. But if it doesn't, let's 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 give it a few more years. Let's four more. How about I think eight the, more? The future is a two innings T Twenty game. I think I think that's that is the actual future. Uh, but seriously, I was talking to a, I was talking to a couple of um, cricket cricket managers, and amongst at least all the cricketers, it's it's super clear. That the measurement is how many followers do you get on Instagram after a game after a series, and there is no bilateral series or even like the Asia Cup. It gets you nothing compared to what the IPL gets you, right? So the mind shift now is all right. This is great, but I got I got to save all the good stuff, you know, between that March to June June period because that's where that's where real growth happens. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, Shubman Shubman scored two hundred against New Zealand, and we were all like, "That's good," but can you do it in a shorter format? Uh, and then he, he he needed the IPL to really all of a sudden us to be like, "Here is the prince." By the way, yeah. he was very princely for the last two years, but yeah, now yeah. He's <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, like it, when we when we did our live show to uh, uh, in India in February for like the border Gavaska trophy and like in Australia, the like w winning a test series in India is like scaling Everest, you know, like so many of the players who are coming to the end of their career is like, that's a massive like bucket list thing they want to do. Mm -hmm. If you're a test cricket fan, it's the hardest challenge in the game really. And we were over there. We we're so happy to like get over there, like to be there for the apex of Australia's cricketing journey. And like most of the people who turned up were like, well, why are you here now? I want to come to the IPL. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come say don't even, and, but, but we actually learned that like that is, you know, it, it, would I be right in saying like in, in India, like it, these days, IPL is obviously people love India. I get it. But like the IPL is like the main thing, right? The whole economy, economy like is built around it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I think, I think those, I mean, Tanmay will attest to it because his work goes through the roof at, at, at that point in time. Hey, write me an ad. Hey, do this thing. Hey, review this. So um, everything sort of, centers around the IPL to a point where even your biggest other entertainment competitor, which is Bollywood, right? Hey, India, Bollywood, known for the movies. None of the big ones will ever release during that IPL window. Crazy. So not only is other sport not sort of happening at around at that point, even Bollywood is like, nope, I'm going to uh, stay away from this. Let them, um, let them do this. So and now we're yeah. conquering the world boys. Yeah. We've got IPLs everywhere now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Never sets on the night riders, right? You know, if you don't catch him in the IPL, you can get him in the yeah. end, right? With LA, yeah. we're, we're doing <laughs> honestly the ICC T20 tournament in US next year is just a way to it's a dipstick for the IPL. Yeah. Uh, we need some of the NRI money, you yeah. Know? Uh, you know, higher always last week, you know, when we're like we we're, have the same thing, like cricket takes a two week break, so that's when everyone does the filming and the yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the World Cup, it's just a shop window for an IPL contract, you know? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. That's that's basically it. Um, and it's it's just gonna be a bunch of like every brown person around the world, we're gonna shove cricket down their throats somehow. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> if you all right, if, if was it early in the morning for the IPL for you? Oh, don't worry, we got another league. <laughs> we, we got something <laughs> else for you. <laughs> The world just imagine <clears throat> Tendulkar. That's yeah, what they. That's what they want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Point. I yeah. think. I'm um, all for it. Hey, good, good for us. Good for us. It's really good, good for us. For us. <laughs> yeah, I think we had a good run in the Anglo sphere for a while. Uh, and now it's time to take a back seat. I reckon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the people in all the people in Australia and the UK are like, oh, this is actually how you got to run cricket. We had our turn. Uh, it's your. It's yeah. your yeah. <laughs> it was good. It was good. That's right. We've got the big bash league. <laughs> <laughs> which is also so much fun to watch i i watch it quite regularly it's so much fun to watch i just love watching cricket in australia there's something about watching cricket in in on australian grounds in that atmosphere it just it's it's so fast paced and like it's it's just a joy to watch um so even if my Those favorite ground. cricketers aren't the, there's something about the grounds it's That's, insane they're too they're too clean all right the <laughs> yeah. toilet the toilets function too well like if you're eating burgers and hot dogs and if you if you're having beer in the in in a cricket stadium you're not really watching cricket like until you are physically until you are physically traumatized for a period of 8 hours you are not watching cricket. the audience needs to be as exhausted as the cricketers when we saw when we went to india pakistan at the mcg like the craziest thing about the night was that you could get a beer anytime you wanted yeah because uh, everyone there was actually watching the game that never happens at the mcg like the bars are more packed than people actually watching the game uh so like yeah. I, I think it is a uh, a very different experience that was actually where we saw um so we, we met Ravi Shastri there for the first time. Uh, we were introduced to him. And uh, he was at the I, bar. Yeah, he was the only guy at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, Miss Coley. So it, it was one of those uh, awkward ones where, um, <laughs> it's all right, we're just having a whiskey. But uh, it was one of those awkward ones where, like, we were introduced to him by someone who was like, oh, yeah, like, these, these, these are the great cricketers. Like, like he would know us. And we're like, yeah. oh, fucking awkward, you know. And then he goes, "Ah, the great cricketer, you take the piss." <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if he was going to take us out back to like kill us or have a whiskey with us, uh, at the time, but I, I saw you guys did some work with him, and like he looks like he can uh, he can take a joke about himself. He's a yeah, legend. absolutely. He's he's an absolute legend. I mean, like the last show that uh, we did uh, with Tanmay, um, we had him on and. We went through all the, the the popular memes about him that exist out there. A lot of them involve drinking and this. And he's not one of those who will be shy. He takes it on the chin. In fact, he'll add two more jokes to that and make everybody around him feel comfortable. So, like, I honestly, that was, thank you, by the way, Tanmay, for bringing me on that. Because that was a absolute bucket list check to sit next to Ravi Shastri and hear his voice that you've grown up listening yeah. to in person. Right, just getting him to say all his classic lines while he's sitting like two feet away from you. That that was uh, that was amazing. Sitting next to the guy who not only hit six sixes and that kind of thing, but who walked out of the team bus with a beer bottle in his <laughs> mouth. Like no one can ever replicate that degree of swag. It's <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Um, Ravi Shastri always has this. Uh, like this confused look on his face when you meet him because he's, he's always trying to find a fuck to give and that kind of <laughs> preoccupies his mind. Uh, do you, like, I you love know, him. Over here, like, uh, you get the impression of Indian cricketers that, or like past and present that they're so famous and so big that mm. you, you don't know like whether you'd ever get any chance to access them and whether they'd be able to bring any swag or humor or anything like that. But like Ravi Shastri seemed like a down-to-earth guy. Are, are there yeah. any guys that you guys have, have worked with that like a uh, a far like funnier or more down to earth than maybe what they seem um, i think uh, uh, we, we did stuff with akash chopra he was uh also surprisingly like really fun to be around uh, this is i'm talking about a few years ago we were doing a, a commentary based show and he was there he was really fun to uh fun to be around with murli kartik is also another guy who's like yeah really fun like we met, met him during commentary once and then ended up meeting him at a bar like a few weeks later and he's not one of those who will sort of just walk away. So he came up, he said, hi, you know, we cheers. So it was, it was really good to sort of meet them in a non cricketing environment and still have them be so chilled out and fun to talk to. So, yeah, I think a lot of the cricketers after they retire, you, you get to see their real personalities, you know, they're not under uh, that much stress. Uh, always, they're not always being watched and you get to really meet them. But amongst the guys who are playing right now, I've had the pleasure of hanging out with Hardik, 
who's Hardik is a gangster. I absolutely love yeah. him. He was here at the NCA. I got to spend some time with him. You know, these two boys, Shubman and Ishan, widely known as the most fun blokes on the team. Especially, especially Ishan nowadays is really uh, he's you know he's regularly in the team. He's doing really well. They're they're very fun. Especially the younger guys are are very fun. Um, yeah, amongst the current guys, these are guys that I've 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 met uh, recently and. There are a lot of fun, but there's always this like the the feeling that I always get is you know fuck I wish people could know these guys a little more personally because publicly they have to be a little guarded right like your cricketers you're you're basically heads of state in India you have to be perfect to to some degree uh, but they're all really like really nice guys uh, I mean I'm a huge fan so there's there's only so much I can push it with these guys like I was holding a bat in my hand I was in I was meeting Hardik and you know there was a bat around and I was playing with it. And uh, Hardik just sitting in the corner watching me swing the bat. Okay, and then Hardik's manager comes in, and Hardik's like, "No, no, don't stop him. He's scoring a century." <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing in front of the Indian cap, waving the bat around like I'm something. Oh, um, yeah, there really is one. One really uh, fun thing happened like a couple of years ago. Um, we were doing this commentary stint for Hotstar uh, during the IPL. So this was during COVID. So we were all sort of in a in a quarantine. Hotel. So even the the cricketers, us, uh, the entire technical team, everybody was in the same hotel. And on the days off, a bunch of them would play cricket behind. And this one day, I sort of went down to see, and it's Brian Lara, yes. playing playing cricket with a tennis ball, right? And a part of me is just sitting there wondering, man, I grew up watching one of the best cricketers to have ever played the game. He's playing tennis ball cricket with all of us. Right and um, he played with him. Did, yeah, we were all playing the technical team, and he's coming and played with us. And he, you, uh, you played with him. Yeah, cricket oh, with a tennis ball. <laughs> what a fall from grace for him that he had to play with me. Uh, <laughs> he didn't have much options in a quarantine hotel, and I was the only one with some sort of cricketing experience, actual cricketing experience. Man, so, guys, have you have you heard Varun Thakur's claim uh, to fame is that he got Rohit Sharma out? Do you guys know this story? Oh shit! Back in nah. See, I, I was I was avoiding it is because ever since that happened, I've said this story a million times on every cricketing platform that I've been on. And uh, hey, to all your other Australian fans, maybe you don't know, but uh, Rohit Sharma and I were playing cricket uh, during our school and college time, and we were in the same sort of age bracket. And um, this one game. Uh, our team is playing against his and my captain comes up to me and he's like, do you know who you're bowling to? I said, no, I don't. He's like, that's Rohit Sharma. He's the best batsman in Mumbai currently. He's like, great, fantastic. Go up to bowl to him. Three balls, three boundaries, right? A cover drive, two square cuts. I'm like, shit, this guy's going to rip me apart. So I talked to my captain. I'm like, listen, you come up a little on mid off and I'm going to bowl him a slower ball. Tell the keeper comes. I bowl a slower ball. I actually managed to deceive him. He hits it up, catch mid off and I got Rohit Sharma's wicket. So for me, that was great at that point. Cut to 10, 15 years later, he is Rohit Sharma now. So obviously for me, that's an even bigger deal. Right. right. So I happened to meet his, uh, his wife is actually a friend of mine. So we had, ended up meeting at a, at an event and I asked myself, is Rohit here? He's like, yeah, he's coming. So Rohit comes in and I don't know why I'm so stupid, but I said, <laughs> the most hey, hi, Rohit. <laughs> I, 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 the words actually came out of my mouth. I'm like, hey, Rohit, hi. You know, I don't know if you remember me, but you know, we used to play cricket back in the day together. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I got you out once. And he just had this, like, because he was in public, I think he had to be very, like, like, <laughs> all right, do you know who the fuck I am? I'm, 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 I'm Rohit Sharma. You really think I'm going to remember you taking my wicket 15 years ago? Yeah. But I did. I did, guys. So, and imagine Rohit. Rohit, how is how are you expecting to remember a made-up story? That's the most ludicrous part. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. he must have had like two thousand people in his life say, yeah. "I got you." Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the date. I remember the place, and it's true. One day, one day, I will, I will get you the scorecard from that game. I, uh, yeah. I know, I know what you guys mean about like the players, like sort of giving more of themselves. And I think I can speak for everyone when I say I just wish we could see more of Shubman Gill if he would just show us, <laughs> if he would just show us. <laughs> Or of himself, that towel, you know, just get yeah. rid of the towel next yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> I was, oh, man. Okay. I was going to ask you about Ishan Kishan, actually, and uh, he seems to be quite a unifying member of the team because I, I've seen a photo, I'm sure you guys have as well, um, of him and Shubman, like, in a business class bed on a plane, like, 
uh, holding each other romantically. <laughs> photo. And then I see uh, after the game last night, if you, if you can call it a game, uh, yeah. Brad Coley, like, mimicking the way Ishan walks. And then Ishan... Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, so is Ishan Kishan now the most important member of this team? And we'll straight <laughs> play again. <laughs> yeah, man. Every team needs a gesture, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, Ishan, yeah, I think Ishan's widely loved. I, I think they're also like Ishan and Shubman, they've played together a bunch. They're one of the younger blokes in the team. So uh, you, 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 you need that guy. And sometimes Virat is that guy. Yeah. I love it when Virat is that guy. Um, you know, he he sort of got the 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 water during the drinks break, and he came mm-hmm. running like that. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the in the last game, that I think he was trying to imitate Yuzvendra Chahal. That's what I thought he was trying to do at that point because he looked very Yuzi like when he was when he was running. But what I actually and you know the other videos that you mentioned as well. It's so nice to see your cricketers be just chill and fun because you know growing up you didn't have the access that you do now, right? You you always wanted to know oh. How does a Sachin behave, you know, when he's not on the field? Or how does a Rahul Dravid behave, Seva, Ganguly, name it. But now the, the proliferation of social media and like, you know, in-depth details about them. They get yeah. to show their fun side, yeah. which, you know, and you end up watching so many and Instagram reels are just like a vortex that right? you watch one funny video and then there's like a million of those. And it's really nice to see the access that you have right now with yeah. cricketers. It, I it makes them more wished, human. I always wished I got to know Virat more. And now I know what his hotel room looks like. <laughs> and I always wish I could see that. We made a lot of money filming that, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody socks. Sorry, sorry. But well, I mean, just, just I was going to ask you guys while you were here, uh, just about like con- content that works and doesn't, because, uh, like, <laughs> you know, like, what advice do you have for like two? Uh, nice. like, Aussie guys are regularly accused of chasing Indian money uh, and <laughs> failing. Um, but like we, we've learned that having uh, historians that want to talk about politics on not so good for the channel. Um, <laughs> not so good. No, I actually have an idea and I would love to see you guys do it as an ardent fan of the great cricketer. I think, I don't know if it goes on this channel or a, or a new channel, but uh, for example, I would love to see you boys react to all the other stuff that's happening in cricket while the thing is going on, right? I know the podcast is kind of like that, but there's way too much other stuff, you know, from the past. If you guys could react to stuff while the video is in front of you, like I would love to see them react to old Dhoni videos and, you know, like a bunch of the older stuff before the pod came on. I would love to watch you guys. Uh, I would love to see you guys watch the Virat Anushka interview the recently that, that went viral uh, I would love to see that kind of stuff with you guys. I, I legit think that could be something you guys do, you know, give, given that you guys are somehow figuring a way out to get 36 hours in a day. Uh, but I'd love to see that happen. <laughs> yeah, more cricket. <laughs> yeah. More cricket. Uh, you know, if we, if we say like, Shubman Gill batted well today, uh, then we just have like a thousand Aussies saying like, stop sucking off Shubman Gill. <laughs> <laughs> So then you're like, should we just create one of those Twitter accounts that like speaks in colorless flat, <laughs> just like a image of Virat in the net saying Virat was in a bang, 12,000 retweets. <laughs> What's the silver bullet, boy? <laughs> no, I think what Tanmay, what, what Tanmay said, I think is, is, is bang on. Firstly, if you need advice on what has to be done to get your numbers up, you got the right guy. Uh, uh, just, by I, which he means Indian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seriously, who the fuck is Tan, though? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dude, that will get you a lot. Try that. <laughs> uh, and Varun, you, you're, uh, you're, you're coming down to Australia oh, so for uh, a, a tour. Yes. Of- yes. I'm coming down uh, this weekend onwards. 22nd is when I uh, come. I will start off in Brisbane, then Adelaide, and then Sydney on the 24th. Um, and the weekend after, 30th, I'm in uh, Melbourne. And 1st of October, I'm in Auckland. So, yeah. I mean, I would love to have you guys come come, come watch if you're free. Especially we'll to the Auckland show. Know. Yeah. <laughs> There's just 11 people coming to that one. So, it would be, be nice. <laughs> you seriously coming to Australia during the World Cup, but you're getting it done before the World Cup. I'm yeah. getting it done before, getting it done before. Yeah. One that, our, that was the thing. Uh, like, good, <laughs> like, one of our old sponsors is like, um, you guys should come over to India for the T20 World Cup. But, like, it's in Australia, man. He's like, yeah, be fucking vibing here in India. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the tour? 
yeah super excited i mean um, i've i've been there once in 2018 before this is my second time around and the beauty about being indian is that you got so many of us everywhere so so it becomes a, it's almost like a home game but now in sydney yeah so, B- B- bcci knows yeah <laughs> yeah knows this that i love it yeah. um are you, are you guys are, are you guys excited about the world cup there like what's 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 the atmosphere in australia like um i think it is on i think it is on somewhere on tv here yeah um, <laughs> there's like a perception that cricket is like absolutely wall to wall coverage in australia but basically it's footy season here so there's mm. like two there's another one rugby union there's like literally a world cup happening there but not a lot of people are watching but like when the footy is on in australia from basically february to the end of september early october it's just football uh, and no, like, unless there's an overseas ashes, cricket doesn't really figure. And so mm. I think in Australia, you know, there'll be an expectation in the country that we go deep in a tournament and then people, casual viewers will expect us to win it as well. Uh, yeah. none of us really haven't like, apparently we're number one in the world, even though we're getting dust by South Africa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, that, uh, I don't think there's really like much vibe about no, it. At all. I think that's right. I mean, there's, cause there's definitely a hangover for us as well being like like uh, you know products of the 90s where we just had we had the team right and that's just going to be the yeah. best going to be in our lifetimes it, mm-hmm. it just won't be topped um and so we will not we will not be happy until we reach those heights again those impossible heights mm-hmm. so i i personally see india and england as just significantly better teams uh and if a, and then but it's going to be a good world cup i think you know cuz like cuz australia's got a decent team but it's 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 probably not going to win the world cup in india mm. so i think everyone's like well what's the point you know yeah. we'll just get around <laughs> um do how do the how do the cricketers everywhere else in the world feel about you know india being this like it's the place for cricket right for example like ab de villiers can't walk on the streets of bangalore it's impossible right. but he can probably go get a drink back home in in south africa yeah. you know uh, a bunch of the cricketers you know they they propose in india and they they like they guards here how, how how do they feel i mean i get that your viewers are coming from india but imagine how the cricketers feel yeah. tell us uh, mm-hmm. well like we did a live show in the uk and just one player that we had, I won't say who, like we had this bit about, uh, like we made people stand up for the Saudi Arabia national anthem, um, you know, because it's going that way too. And uh, one of the players that we, uh, I won't say the like current or former, was like, oh, I can't wait for like uh, cricket to take off in Saudi Arabia. Get, let's get that coin, you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of them are like, just try and make the best that they can for their careers as possible, irrespective of any ethics in the case of uh, Saudi Arabia or whatever. Uh, and then, I, I don't know, man, like, I, I think also like, there's a perception that everyone like wants to get their money out of India for cricket, but there's really only a small number of players who are good enough to actually take those spots, right. Mm, and do yeah. it. So, and, and then everyone else is just fighting for that. Mm, mm. But I, th- I don't think we're far from the time where, you know, they're going to have leagues around the world. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be eventually a contract that comes in for a player that says that's enough money that they just say, now you just play our leagues. You don't play for your country. You don't play for anything else. Just play your league. And I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's, it's, it's taken its time, you know, capitalism to really enter cricket. It's taken, yeah. it's taken a while. Yeah. Uh, miss you, Lalit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask you this one, guys, like, uh, cause cricket's obviously such a, a brutish sport, which only causes us pain, really. <laughs> like, what's the thing that you're scared of the most in the World Cup? You know, is it is it the British coming in and stealing your resources again? Like, should McGill? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that is that is that worst case scenario? Um, Varun. Yeah, I think I, I think the one the, the the team I'm possibly worried about the most is is England because even on paper and on form, they are they're fantastic. And um, if I had to rate the order of teams that I think I'm most worried about, England would be up there first. Uh, Australia, for sure, despite of what you might think. I think Australia, on paper, even when we read it right now, seems like an extremely formidable team. Um, And the third thing, which is always something that comes from the side, regardless of injury concerns or whether or not the team is in form, is Pakistan. Because that's, that's a team you can never, never write off. So... 
Um, Man, and- I, I don't give a fuck about the teams. I'm worried about how much ad money is going to be left in the system after the World Cup, to be honest. Like, <laughs> like I'm so swamped with work right now. And I was just discussing you know, with my co-founder. And he was like, Tanmay, there are no briefs for after the World Cup yet. Because like, there's no money. Everyone's yeah. blowing their load on this World Cup. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Let's, get, let's get to the real important stuff uh, <laughs> money, uh, in the system uh, and whether any will be left over for the IPL. Yeah, well, I mean, Pakistan, like, uh, I don't know, man. I, I salivate over India-Pakistan final, oh, yeah. Ahmedabad. Yeah. What, like, what would the vibe be like in India if that was the fucking case? That'd be hell. fucking epic. Oh. Um, <laughs> India, <laughs> India-Pakistan yeah, no. finals at, at Narendra Modi Stadium oh, in Ahmedabad. Shit. Oh God. Brothers, like you I, guys I, have to fly down for that, man. Like, oh, for sure. it's a world. It's a world event. The UN will be involved. Yeah, it's there's 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 going to be choppers like on over on one side. There's planes ready. There's everything parked, and there has to be one. I don't know, like an instant flight out for either of the teams <laughs> that is losing, because <laughs> if you lose, it's going to be a bit of a problem. So, oh, yeah, shit. have your escape route. Ready. They're gonna, they're gonna need the pitch to go down slowly to take the guys from under the under the ground. Leave, there's no yeah. other way. Yeah. Like, yeah. Concert, like coming up from under the stage and yeah. down. <laughs> and you you can't drink in that city. It's gonna be in yeah. Oh, yeah. The World Cup. Oh, I wish that would be like that would be so epic. That would be. Dude, I think they're probably the most watched game ever. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. In in fact, like for the last week, ten days. All I'm hearing about chatter amongst my friends. Everybody's trying to get their hands on their tickets, right? Everybody's trying to find that one person who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who's going to get them that ticket. And they've already gotten tickets. They've already decided to resell it. And that's all people are talking about. This this game on the 14th is going to be earth shattering. Yeah, like, but Varun, I, I, I got to say, like the like these fucking Asia Cup matches with, you know, with these three-day internationals that we've been having, it's 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 really like it's it, I I didn't fuck with it like it's a, like they kind of killed the vibe a little bit like I wish yeah. these two games not kind of rained out I wish they just saved it for the World Cup directly yeah like, it's, yeah I have it right now because now I'm I, like every time I put on a cricket game I'm like what's the point I'm going to be able to say the same score tomorrow at two p.m. anyway so yeah I think Asia Cup just became like a, a, a like a math simulation exercise. <laughs> for, for us, you know, like, hey, let's bat first, let's bat second, let's bat under lights. No, bowler's having a good time. It's a spinning wicket. Fine, tested, everything's done. Now you I love, go into the I love seeing thing. that number on Hotstar or Geo Cinema where, yeah. you know, until it's raining, until that last, like, that last cover isn't peeled off, where it's like 10, 20, 2 million people watching. As soon as <laughs> that cover goes up, 25 million have just tuned in. The word has gotten around that we're now starting. It's so beautiful to watch. <laughs> but but it is funny to see like the groundsmen put things. They're they're running on the field with the thing, but there's still two million people watching. Yeah, covers being put it's on a, the ground. Oh, that's yeah. fine. We'll watch it. The, the population of Australia is watching the rain <laughs> in Sri Lanka right now. It's beautiful. I think for world pace, we need a New Zealand Bangladesh final. That's what we need. <laughs> 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 the children. Um, boys, boys, thanks so, thanks so much, much for coming, for coming on, the on the show. Love to do Love something, to do like, something this like this again. Uh, Varun, we'll, we'll catch, catch you in a couple of days, days when you're down. Yes, for sure, for sure. Thank you so much for having me. This was this was a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, let's let's definitely do uh, a lot more of these. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Nice time one. Time 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 you time in for that? For that? I mean, you got the most followers, so for sure. For sure, guys. For sure. Happy to do it, and we can talk after we win the World Cup. Uh, and we can uh, quietly ignore each other if we lose. <laughs> <laughs> boys, boys. <laughs>